Hey friends, uh, Rob Phoenix, Power Guy here. Um, just popping in quick to talk to you a little bit about a blood stopping charm. Now this one was taught, this is part of the oral tradition of powwow. This is not um, found with this wording in books. This was taught to me uh, verbally, orally. So I'm gonna share this with you. Um, just remember I only share things that I have permission to share. Uh, uh, I have been taught some things that they said, keep it to yourself, don't share it with anybody. And I have adhered to that. But this is one of those that was taught to me that can be shared. So this is to stop blood. Um, the idea is that if somebody has a cut or a wound, um, you'll apply the first aid, but then you'll do the blood stopping charm, which is to help clot the blood faster um, until help arrives or until they get it bandaged up or whatever. Um, so real simple, the hand is held over the wound um, and the spoken bit is, I walk through a green forest, there I find three wells. The first is courage, the second is faith, the third will stop the blood. Um, in Nama Vater, so highly geist, uh, in the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So just remember that you're holding the hand, your hand over the wound. Um, I walk through a green forest, there I find three wells. The first is courage, the second is faith, the third will stop the blood. In the name of God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Real simple. Um, now blood stopping charms can be repeated uh, until the blood stops, um, or you can repeat it three times, you know, and then Father, Son, Highland Geist, or Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So that's part of the uh, uh, oral tradition of power. That's one that you're not going to find that verbatim in any of the published materials. Um, but that's how I was taught that particular charm. Uh, so there you are. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, love you all. God bless you. And let's talk soon.